After Carl was born, we felt like we had reached the mountain top. And then, out of the clear blue sky, we were struck by lightning. I was diagnosed with ALS today. The knowledge that I was dying was terrible. But dealing with my insurance company was even worse. I wanted to spend every moment I had left with Rachel and Carl. But then Congress came after our health care. I couldn't stay quiet any longer. And joining us now is Emmy Award winning actor Bradley Whitford. He's the executive producer of the documentary, Not Going Quietly. Brad, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Uh, this documentary is so compelling, and, and I, but I just want you to, I just want to open the mic for you to tell the audience what they need to know about this documentary and about this situation. Well, uh, Lawrence, my, my, my friend, uh, Adi is, is a character that uh, you guys in the West Wing writer's room didn't have the audacity uh, uh, to imagine. This is uh, a man in the prime of his life um, who is uh, given uh, a, a devastating diagnosis and finds meaning and is able to transcend not the disease, but uh, Adi is not defined by ALS. AL, it revealed him. And uh, this film, there is so much joy in this film. There is so much hope in this film. What you read that Adi said uh, in his op-ed, he is happy and he is an effective organizer fighting to make sure that everyone in this country has access to health care. It is completely insane that the richest co country in the world does not protect its own citizens. We're in the midst of this uh, um, pandemic, uh, which feasts on the most vulnerable among us and uh, shows how connected we are. Uh, if people in South Africa are not getting the health care they need, uh, then we are connected through, uh, through this virus. But this documentary, um, it, 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 it was nominated for Best Documentary of the Year by the International Documentary Association. It's streaming on Apple TV, on Amazon Prime. It's going to be on uh, uh, PBS uh, in January. I urge people to see this. Adi preaches the gospel of democracy, and um, uh, he is such an effective activist. Um, he is a reminder that we don't just get a democracy. We have to make it uh, every damn day. And I urge everybody to go out and see this uh, beautiful film about this remarkable man. Uh, Adi has also been a remarkably effective lobbyist, especially when they were uh, trying to destroy the Affordable Health Care uh, Act in uh, in Congress. But uh, is there any way uh, you can get this documentary to Joe Manchin so that he can see that this particular piece uh, of the Biden bill is so necessary, the home uh, health care portion? Uh, you know, Adi is fighting for this right now. Adi is a much more effective uh, political strategist than I am. The name of his organization is Be a Hero, which uh, um, the name came up when he was confronted Jeff Flake. Adi is not saying, I am a hero. Adi would say to Joe Manchin, be a hero. Think of all of the, uh, 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 the medical facilities named <laughs> uh, that, that his constituents need, the support that his constituents need. Uh, I would love to show this to Joe Manchin. Um, he, could, he could learn a lot from it. The uh, the the Biden legislation is is pretty uh, abstract, I think, for most people. They don't they don't necessarily connect to it. And I have to say this this story connects that component of, of that legislation yes. better than anything I've ever seen. The thing that Nicholas Bruckman, our director and our producer, Amanda Roddy, what, what they really succeed in is erasing the the false division between the personal and the political. Um, and Adi embodies that. Adi's quandary embodies uh, 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 that. Real differences, are, you know, we don't have to live in a society 
uh, where we do not take care of each other. In, in, in the richest country in the world, it is a choice that we are making and we can actively change that. I especially want young people to see this movie because I know that young people are understandably uh, exhausted and disgusted uh, by our political system. But to see a man with ALS use his dying breath to use his suffering uh, 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 to help others transcend, uh, to help others, uh, to help alleviate others' suffering is a, an inspiring thing to, uh, to see and the only way we're going to get out of this. Mm -hmm.